From cleaning up big environmental blunders to decisions that led to a big waste of money, here are the most expensive military mistakes. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out over here to Large Fries for getting the right answer during one of our trivia questions. We asked you guys which twins actually sued Mark Zuckerberg when he was creating Facebook. Be sure to leave your comment and insight on this video and we will feature you in an upcoming video. Number 12, Blue Devil Airship. Known for being one of the U.S.'s recently scrapped projects, the Blue Devil airship was said to be a bizarre-looking blimp the size of a football field for use in Afghanistan. About seven times larger than a Goodyear blimp, it was designed to steal data and spy on people from over four miles away in the sky. It had dozens of video systems, which would have been good for scoping out targets during the day and at night. It was considered to be a wide-area airborne surveillance system, and the government invested a whopping toll of $211 million into the project. Technical problems kept on showing up with overweight tail fins and the expectations of the cameras that were supposed to be used were far below than what they wanted. In June of 2011, the project was sold back to the contractor for one one thousandth of the price. Number 11, Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle. The Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle was an unconventional amphibious assault vehicle built for the U.S. Marine Corps. It was supposed to have rivaled the U.S. Abrams tank for agility and mobility. It could also be used to equip 17 soldiers and have a seven-man crew, making it a formidable transport vehicle. It was designed to also detonate underwater mines and clear the way for bigger ships that would follow their lead. It didn't turn out to be quite so revolutionary in the end, and the cost per unit would reach about $22 million each. Several prototypes rolled off the assembly lines with reliability issues, and they needed constant maintenance. For every four hours of operation, it would require at least one hour of maintenance, which just wasn't efficient enough. More affordable options were considered, and the Secretary of Defense announced the canceling of the project in January of 2011. By then, the amount already spent reached about $3.3 billion, making it a big money waster. Number 10. Agent Orange, Vietnam Agent Orange was used in a herbicidal warfare program in Vietnam, and the U.S. military had destroyed countless acres of land and also ruined lives along the way. It contains one of the deadliest chemicals that occurs in nature, but it can be produced in larger quantities at a production facility. Also created by Monsanto, this is one of the reasons why people don't trust GMOs and the pesticides created by this company. The Red Cross claims the effects of this toxin has resulted in serious birth defects from children in central and southern Vietnam. Agent Orange was banned by the U.S., and in 1971, the stockpile was destroyed on a remote island 700 miles south of Hawaii. Since it was sprayed in so many places, it still gets in the food of unfortunate Vietnamese people to this day. The environmental impacts are also quite unsettling when you take a look at this photo of the forest east of Saigon. It's also hard to put a price on this mistake, but lawsuits and cleanup efforts have easily cost over $100 million worth in damage from around the world. Number 9. The Alina C-27J Spartan even though the Americans have dozens of different transport planes, they decided to invest quite a bit of money into planes that would be able to land on unpaved areas or on shorter runways. About 18 or so of these were originally built, but the Air Force basically just decided that they no longer needed or wanted them. With each one costing about $32 million, it almost seems like too big of an investment for them to just give up on. Pretty much as soon as the delivery arrived for those planes, they were shipped off to the Arizona desert for storage, meaning $600 million went to waste. It's believed that in an attempt to create more jobs in Ohio, a contractor pushed the military who didn't really even want them. The U.S. has made some attempts to sell them to other countries, though. Number 8. The Missing Greenland Nukes In 1968, the USA agreed to beef up their military presence on the nearly inhospitable landmass known as Greenland. B-52 bombers calmly patrolled the skies, ready to demolish multiple cities if needed to do so. No one knows for sure why it crashed, but the bomber crashed off the coast of the Baffin Bay, and once again, everything inside went missing, including four hydrogen bombs. The USA officials had claimed to have found the weapons and demolished them, however, according to declassified documents, that's not the case. While there is proof that the pilot was okay, the WMDs not so much. Trying to locate the misplaced WMDs in the frigid and dark conditions of the Arctic was certainly no easy task. While some of the wreckage was recovered in Operation Chrome Dome, it's still believed that one complete hydrogen bomb was not recovered. Danish citizens who tried to clean up the area were also granted compensation after many were diagnosed with cancer. Number 7. Bikini Atoll Contamination 
It's not that it was a bad idea, it's just that it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Over 105 massive nuclear and hydrogen bombs were tested in the Pacific Proving Grounds between 1946 and 1962. This photo here shows a massive concrete lid placed over the creator of the nuclear test called Project Cactus, an attempt to contain the radioactive materials left over. This was a beautiful island known as Runet Island with much wildlife and tropical trees. Many strange experiments took place on this atoll, including one called Operation Ivy. The Cactus Dome, or locally known as the Tomb, is an 18-inch thick, 360-foot in diameter, circular concrete slab placed over the radioactive nuclear crater. Runet Island is now deemed uninhabitable for the next 24,000 years due to all the plutonium that's scattered here. The cleanup project cost $239 million, not including the lawsuits filed by workers exposed to radiation working here. The U.S. basically began to feel bad for all the inhabitants of the Marshall Islands nearby, and a massive cleanup effort took place to reduce the contamination that roughly cost $947 million. Overall, it was a costly mistake testing these nukes here, and if a typhoon hits this island, who knows what will happen to it. It's hard to put a price on all the land and human life that's been affected. Number 6. Camp Lejeune Cleanup A lawsuit worth $4 billion came into effect when soldiers complained of drinking contaminated water, which led to health problems. It was estimated that 900,000 servicemen and women were exposed to the tainted water, many of which are now suffering from cancer. The toxins in the drinking water were at concentrations of anywhere from 240 to 3,400 times the safe limit at this marine base in North Carolina. A former sergeant had documented that there was a nearby radioactive waste dump site which contained strontium-90, a known carcinogen isotope. The total loss of life here related to this incident isn't completely known, but at least 850 former soldiers filed claims. People who served at this base are encouraged to find an attorney as soon as possible. Number 5. The Boeing Yell-1 The U.S. Air Force might have been watching a little bit too much Star Wars when they came up with this project. The Boeing Yell-1 was set to be equipped with a megawatt chemical oxygen iodine laser attached to the nose and it started off promising. During a test, the high-power laser beam successfully intercepted two launch missiles at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. It was determined that they weren't completely destroyed and a laser 20 to 30 times more powerful was actually what they needed. This meant that they had to build at least 20 to 30 more of these planes in order to shoot down a nuke, which wasn't a feasible option. There are still some that believe it could prove to be useful, but just extremely expensive. All the research on just this one prototype led to an estimated cost of $5.2 billion, and we don't even use it. Number 4. XM-2001 Crusader This thing looks like it can put up a serious amount of punishment on unsuspecting villages. So why on earth is it on this list? It was supposed to be the next generation of self-propelled howitzers and was supposed to be an upgrade in lethality, mobility, and effectiveness. The project was officially terminated by the Department of Defense and this self-propelling howitzer project became a failure. Costing around $11 billion, you have to wonder if it was even worth trying to create in the first place. Its firing system isn't quite as accurate as laser-guided missiles and extremely slow. Only moving at 15 to 20 miles an hour, it certainly was no speed demon. It's been theorized that the government is downplaying the important role of artillery on the battlefield, but what do you believe? Number 3. Future Combat Systems One of the most expensive military projects that's often listed as a failure is the Future Combat System project that lost us over $18 billion. The main goal here was to modernize all our equipment and basically utilize fighting robots instead. For example, the M1 Abrams main battle tank and Bradley fighting vehicles were said to be updated with robotic vehicles that weighed over 6 tons each. DARPA was in charge of making that happen, but other contractors were rewarded with ridiculous amounts of money. And while trying to modernize, critics will say that this failed project will set them back a generation. The contractors ultimately failed to produce anything effectively that was better than what we already had. Between 1995 and 2009, Congress and the Pentagon spent an unbelievable $32 billion on this project and a similar one known as the Army Brigade Combat Team Modernization Program with not much to show for it. Number 2. B-2 Bomber Costing about $2 billion to produce between the 1980s and the 1990s, the B-2 Bomber was a step in the right direction for creating stealth technology, but currently it's just not too useful as it turns out. What's the point of going all stealth mode when we can just launch a cruise missile or even thermonuclear missiles instead? An estimated 20 were built, costing $40 billion, but currently, only 11 are considered to be in operational use. There's also been quite a bit of trouble trying to maintain these stealth bombers, and one in Guam was destroyed after maintenance was neglected. 
In 1997, they also found out that B-2 bombers really couldn't fly in the rain, which meant even more money was probably spent. And number one. But first, we'd like to hear more about how you guys found our channel and which videos you guys think are the best. Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number one, the F-35. Some feel as though the F-35 will prove to be the most expensive military project failure by the U.S. in upcoming years, and it's starting to look like it. The Pentagon wanted the sleekest, coolest aircraft possible, and us taxpayers are going to have to pay for it. These fighter planes have stealth capabilities and look pretty cool. They're a cool thing to show during recruiting programs, but you're not normally going to see the underlying issues. It was originally going to cost $400 billion, which already seemed a little bit pricey. Some believe the F-16 is still much more qualified for dogfights than the F-35. To top that off, the engines already have troubles. It's also the most expensive project the Department of Defense has undertaken. In the end, it's estimated that the advanced fighter aircraft will cost $1 to $1.5 trillion, according to CSN. This is mainly because they plan on producing quite a few of these. 